Welcome to the Resetting Your Pre-Owned iPad course. In this course, we'll show you how to reset a pre-owned iPad that might have been given to you by a family member or friend for your permanent use. A reset wipes the iPad's memory to make it like new, ready for you to make your own. If you plan to pass on your iPad to someone else permanently in the future, you should first reset it. This will protect your security and privacy. If your iPad has a physical home button, some of the steps might be slightly different, but you can still follow along. Let's get started. When a device is switched on, but shows a black screen, we say it's asleep. To wake it up, press the power button. If your iPad displays a hello screen, it is already reset, and you can exit this demonstration and go to the next course called Setting Up Your New iPad. If your iPad displays a lock screen, however, you will need to reset it. Keep watching to learn how to do this step by step. To open the lock screen, you need the passcode of the previous owner. Of course, you shouldn't share passcodes with others. So ask the iPad's previous owner to enter their passcode onto the lock screen for you. When it's fully reset, their passcode will be erased and you will be able to create your own passcode to keep the iPad and your information secure. Once you have unlocked the iPad, you will see what's known as the home screen. Find the Settings app icon and tap on it. Look for General in the list of options on the left side of the screen. In this demonstration, it's already selected, but if it's not, tap on it. A list of general settings options will be visible on the right side of the screen. Scroll down this list almost to the bottom and tap Transfer or Reset iPad. If the previous owner wants to transfer the content of this iPad to a new iPad, they can start that process here but we're not going to do so for this demonstration. Instead, we'll look to the bottom of the screen and choose the second option. Erase all content and settings. Here you will see all the apps, data, settings and accounts that will be removed from the iPad. Tap Continue. Next, you need to ask the previous owner to enter their passcode again. If the previous owner has any data that needs to be saved to their iCloud, you will need to wait for the iPad to finish uploading. In this demonstration, we will tap Skip Backup. Now we need to remove the previous owner's Apple ID from this iPad. An Apple ID is the username for an account that lets you access Apple services. The previous owner will have used their Apple ID to download apps, backup photos, and secure their personal details. An Apple ID is protected by a password. 
which is different to the pass code that unlocks the iPad. Ask them to enter their Apple ID password here. Once the previous owner's Apple ID password has been entered, tap Turn Off in the top right corner. This will delete the previous owner's Apple account from the iPad so it's safe to use. You can now tap Erase iPad. The iPad will restart and show the Apple symbol. This part will take a few minutes. When the reset has finished, the iPad will show the Hello screen. This means your pre-owned iPad is prepared for setup. If you're unsure about any steps, you can rewind the video. Otherwise, you can begin the next course, setting up your new iPad to complete the setup process. You'll find this and many other great courses on Be Connected.